I love that I've had you pulled there. Don't worry. No need to call for the Andrex dog. Right, today, you catch me on a very auspicious day. We're going to test the Pomfret 2000 helmet. Finally test it against live firearms. Not the Bandit Banshee, real guns. Okay, you can see, uh, you might have noticed something different about battles. Uh, I'm wearing one of the uh, prototypes for the Pomfret 2000 helmet. Although this is a wonderful helmet, this one didn't fulfill the criteria, the strict criteria that we need for a helmet for our modern day troops. Okay, so this beautiful thing had to go by the wayside. Right, today we're testing the Pomfret 2000 out in the secret testing area. And we'll be testing it against live ammunition. Right, we're going to be using the Ruger 1022, which is a 2-2 rimfire. And we're going to be using a 357 carbine. So let's go and see how she performs. It's going to be good. I'm not bloody lying. Hey mates, long walls here. Now, I'm the first to admit, and I think you'll agree, the last test wasn't 100% successful. But, looking on the bright side, a lot of these rounds were slowed down by the Pomfret 2000. Now, if this guy was the only one in the armoured car wearing this and he may have been the only one to survive also when you think about dust storms uh, the incidences of uh, skin cancer in Iraq they're rising all the time this helmet has an SPF of about 500 so what more could you want also yeah Head temperature, 22 degrees. Perfect for the fighting Australian. Another of the benefits, this poor bugger in here might have died. What all his mates have got to do is come along, choose a hole, stick a fag in, and say, aha, sniper's over there, boys. Let's go and get him. All right? How many of our boys in the tropics I've been brought down and laid low by a blow to the crust by a giant golf ball sized hailstone. So there it is. Perhaps not the best defence against your firearm, but it's an ongoing thing. I'm going to be making improvements. But for now, we'll say goodbye to the Ponca 2000. And um, 
I won't be raffling this one, I'll be giving this one away. Do whatever you want in it. It's a good planter. Just, you can't do your chips in it anymore, obviously, so do as you choose. Okay, so it's bye from me. Good night, Pomfret 2000.